Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, drug bus in St. James lay a charge, pregnant woman found dead, plus 18 killed in 48 hours and more. Detectives assigned to the Narcotics Division have arrested a man for breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act and the Firearm Act following his arrest in an incident in Montego Bay, St. James on Wednesday, September 8. 39 year old Leah Daly, a farmer of St. Elizabeth, has been charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine, trafficking cocaine. Reports are that about noon, lawmen intercepted the motor vehicle that Daly was driving. The vehicle was searched and 5 kilograms of white substance resembling cocaine was found and one 5.56 cartridge. Daly and another man was taken into custody. On Friday, September 10, Daly was formally charged. Daly is scheduled to appear before the St. James Parish Court on Friday, September 17. The other man remains in police custody as investigation continues. Gunmen have been on a murderous rampage, killing at least 18 people over a 48-hour period on the weekend. Seven of the murders occurred over an eight-hour period on Saturday. Meanwhile, 11 killings happened on Friday. A two-year-old infant was shot and injured in one of the incidents. Friday's bloodletting started in Old Arbor St. Catherine, where citizens reportedly heard explosion and informed the police, who found 41-year-old Ricardo with what appears to be gunshot wounds to the back of his head. In another incident, Winston was standing at the intersection of Fleet and Tower Street along with an 18-year-old student and a 2-year-old when armed men with guns alighted from a motor vehicle and opened gunfire, killing Winston and injuring the student and the infant. On Saturday, a man visiting from the United States was shot and killed by unknown men along Mountain View in East Kingston at about 4 p.m. The other killings occurred in Savalamar and another section of Westmoreland. A pregnant mother allegedly dies due to lack of oxygen at the Cornwall Regional Hospital on August 29. Shanice phoned a relative from her bed at the Cornwall Regional Hospital complaining that she is in need of oxygen and there is none to give, resulting in her complexion turning black and blue. Shanice, 26 years old, died while she was seven months pregnant, leaving behind a six-year-old son. The night before him died, mm -hmm. he called me, like, around, yet, around 15 after yet, mm -hmm. in the evening. But I talked to him to day, around 15 after yet, in the evening, he called me and he said, Jill, ask me, you know, he called me all the while, me and him keep on talking. Anything mm -hmm. you want, he called me and said, Jill. Then when I go dead, I'm say, Shani, why make a big say you go dead? And again, he said, well, I don't have no oxygen, like, I don't go shot by oxygen. And I say, Shani, hold on a little bit, man. Hold on, you don't go dead before you get oxygen. Because I have an idea, because in terms of oxygen, it's low fine at the day, like in the evening. And I say, hold on a little bit, and he said, well, all you try me say, hold on, you're not going to make it. So I say, oh, you know, say so about it. He said to me, say, he start change complexion, and he start get black and blue. And you know, I stand like him, but they run out of accident himself. Yes. So I'm not even really say to cause my name, my auntie when I did it. I'm not really say to him, because I don't want them feel now. You understand? Yes. Yeah, and Didi and Didi and his musician is hold on because possibly we we'll get oxygen anytime now. Because I have an idea, say oxygen would reach to him anyway. You understand? Yes. But like that, they and we did the message hold on and save your oxygen, just save your breath a little bit and no use up your oxygen. You call back like the next 10 minutes time or 20 minutes time anyway. Well, to be truthful, when I call him, like in the next 20 minutes time, um, my phone on going ring out. So, you just have an idea. Yeah. In gone. I'm not telling a lie. 
family members, residents, along with MPs of Havana Heights, where two sisters and their boyfriends were killed yesterday morning, are calling for justice and help. We heard about this terribly tragic incident which took place here in Havana Heights in Clarendon with four young persons, two sisters and another relative and uh, the baby father of one of the sisters all being murdered last night just after midnight and so we decided to come and because I touched base with the Member of Parliament, Lothan Cousins, and he encouraged me to come down and just show the family some solidarity and some support at this time of terrible grief and shock. The community as a whole has been going through a series of incidents, but this now has taken it to a whole different level. And, you know, in coming to the house, seeing all the children, meeting the mother of the two sisters who died, seeing the small room in which they were all put on a bed and then executed. It really is shocking, shocking to the conscience. The Jamaica Constabulary Force at this time, we're offering condolences to the bereaved family and we want to let them know that we are going to be here and to reassure them that we will get to the bottom of this incident because this incident really ought not to happen because people are living with each other and i do not think that dispute whatever it is should be settled in a way that it is so heinous we are one family in spite of we are law enforcement we are here to provide security and safety for them and when we wake up this morning and to hear about this incident is very tragic Young man. What's the name of your son? Michael Salomon. Where live? Havana Heights Face Tree. He's a working hard young man. Every day I work. When he not go out, he help me with my farm. Come around chicken farm. Michael, you're innocent. God, poor dead left your one son. Only one picking it. Plus your baby mother gone left your baby. Eh? People, I hear time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. And remember, everybody opinion valid. So nobody afraid to leave your comment down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out on a stay safe and stay blessed.